Ah, yes, the fandom's favorite love triangle. But, despite what the books would have you believe, Moon was always only ever going to choose one dragon. And in this video, we're going to talk about why. Also, I wanted to let you know we're making a ship tier list, but this one's different because it is going to be based on the entire community's input. Everyone who wants to join in can go to the link in the description, rank your favorite ships, and if it's before April 5th, 2022, your votes are going to be counted to create the next video. Also, feel free to comment why you ranked what you ranked. Okay, now back to the ship you're all here for, Moon Kibli Winter. First, let's just get the obvious out of the way. Winter sucks. Now, I know I just upset everyone, so before you do anything, let me explain. I actually really like Winter. He's a complex character who faces some really hard decisions, and more often than not, despite his terrible upbringing, he chooses the right path. But he's really not good for Moon. Like, the only thing he brings to that relationship is his sparkly good looks. And in direct opposition to that, Winter is borderline abusive to Moon. Constantly. He lashes out when he's angry, he threatens her multiple times, he yells at her in like almost every book, and he's oftentimes controlling, like he tells Moon what she has to do or what she's not allowed to do on multiple separate occasions. That's not a good foundation for a relationship. I mean, yes, he usually has his reasons, but having reasons doesn't ever excuse abusive behavior. Kibli, on the other hand, is the exact opposite of this. He is there to support Moon almost every step of the way, which more often than not is sticking up for her when Winter is being a jerk. This happens the first time they meet. This happens the second time they meet. This happens the th you get the point. But all of that doesn't really mean anything, because this relationship, like almost all relationships in the Wings of Fire series, is determined by and deeply rooted in one of the main themes of the story. And that theme is trust. We see this as one of the most important themes in Book 6 from Moon's perspective when she struggles to decide whether or not to trust the mysterious voice in her head or to trust her friends with the secret of her powers. We see this theme featured prominently again in Book 7 when Winter has to learn to put his trust in dragons from different tribes to save his brother. We see it play out at the end of Book 8 when Peril has to decide whether to trust Ruby, who always hated her, or her father, who betrayed her. And we see this theme in books 9 and 10 in the spell that Darkstalker casts on everyone, forcing them to like and trust him. So trust is an essential part of these books. Winter doesn't trust Moon. From the moment they meet, Winter gets on this roller coaster of trust issues with her. He doesn't trust her at first because she's a Nightwing, then he gets to know her and starts to trust, then she sees the future and stops them all from getting blown up, and he doesn't trust her again, then he starts to when she helps him stop Icicle, then she reveals she can read minds too, then he doesn't trust her, then she helps him find his brother and he starts to trust again, then she reveals she's been talking to Darkstalker, then he doesn't trust her, and yells at her, again, and so on and so forth. Right up until the end, he doesn't trust her, and she in turn doesn't fully trust him as evidenced by her decision to not tell him what ended up happening to Darkstalker. So that then begs the question, do Kibli and Moon trust each other? Okay, is that even a question? Even when he's given reason not to trust her, he still does. Like, every time she reveals something she's been hiding from everyone, he thinks it through, sees things from her perspective, and decides to put his faith in her. We see this in the sixth book when he decides to help her figure out who tried to blow up the school, and again towards the end of book 10, part 2, when he goes with her to confront Darkstalker, despite his better judgment. In fact, just listen to what he says. Listen to what our best boy has to say to her. I'll be right here, he said, brushing her wing with his. I'll always be close if you need me. Ah, what a guy. Get yourself a Kibli in your life. Well, aside from this being a beautiful line, he's telling her, in essence, that he trusts her enough to follow her anywhere, and that she, in turn, can trust him. Since trust is such a big theme in these books, well, of course the character who time and time again decides to trust Moon is going to be the one the plot goes with. On the flip side, it is precisely Winter's lack of trust in Moon that is why he was never going to be the one she ended up choosing it would be fundamentally opposed to one of the core themes of the books. And that is why Moon was always only ever going to choose Kibli. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.